Hello peeps, what's going on? Welcome to channel 48. Today we're gonna do a hacking touch project. I have here a laptop in front of me and this laptop is the HP Pavilion Entertainment PC and it's model uh, the model is the D DV8 102 1029 damn it i cannot even read that one these people as if they don't want you to read what this what the device is that you bought for so much money once long time ago so let's grab a camera okay it's the dv6 uh, 1020 ed and the product is the pavilion dv6 so can we install official well official <laughs> it's not official unofficial can we can we install the mac operating system onto this onto this machine this thing has uh, a dual core processor it's not such a fantastic device in fact it's an old device uh, it as well makes uh, all sorts of uh, sounds noises so we'll have to see if um, this all will go good uh, if we can then as well get rid a bit of these voices uh, battery of this thing is totally dead i got this laptop together with two others from a lady three for 25 euros and i got them i had this one in the package another uh, hp there uh, that is an older model but with great sound I, I think i made a video about it already and an asus but that asus is uh yeah in fact not not turning on i don't know what's wrong with it so yeah this this is what a 10 uh, a 10 euro laptop looks like um yeah keyboard looks really nice very nice device to see it has core to duo so uh, it's nothing special uh intel inside so that is always good because <laughs> at a certain moment mac uh yeah as well started uh, using intel processors for the uh, operating system and here i have an old build it's a 10.8.5 so that should be mountain lion right so we're gonna try to install mountain lion i'm not gonna go for the latest uh, version from mac because that will not work on this old device you know mac is a very heavy operating system and if it runs on on you know reasonable on 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 a laptop with these kinds of specifications you can clap in your hands and then you have a goal but will this thing even boot well to boot uh, with this laptop uh, from cd uh, yeah we should press escape and then uh, we hit uh, f9 and then we should get into the boot menu so let's go ahead and see if it's gonna boot okay welcome back here you can see uh, the laptop <laughs> It, it 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 almost looks like a Mac with with this 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 keys and I'm very happy with this mouse. This is or this touchpad that's really amazing. So we're gonna turn it on and then we're gonna hit escape. Oh no, oh no. We first gonna uh, put in the CD. <laughs> No, stop, 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 stop. We first gonna put in the DVD. It was once uh, created by Niresh. Niresh, Niresh was uh, yeah, an amazing guy in the past, but he he he, he passed along. He's well, he's not passed along. He he moved along. Uh, he's yeah, his sides are not yeah. This is very old school project that we're gonna do. Okay, and. Uh, the firmware is still to be found thanks to uh, get into pc uh, website.com uh, so yeah i will uh, show you something that you can as well do although i will not directly link to you know because me and apple we are good friends and yeah i don't want them to get pissed off or whatsoever this is just for testing you know 
and it's very old school project so i'm hitting escape and then i should hit f9 or so let me see f9 press f9 yeah oh yeah you see that and now i hit f9 what is that in f9 i meant yeah and then here boot from cd-rom and let's see if it's gonna boot Hey, 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 look at that, we have activity, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna boot from the CD, so I'm gonna put you on the tripod and let's boot from it. Hello peeps, welcome again. I'm here with this old laptop, it's a HP uh, Pavilion uh, Entertainment uh, PC. It's a laptop, okay, and I just booted uh, yeah, a Hackintosh uh, DVD that I still had lying around. Uh, one that works as well on other devices that I have in the house. It's uh, by Niresh. It's very old. Uh, yeah, it's kind of outdated. This is this is old school, but I need uh, yeah. In fact, for my uh, ebooks, uh, I need Mac voices. So in fact, I want to build a hacking tosh um, just for that case, and just as well to see if I can still do it. And on this old laptop, so here I just booted into the CD, uh, the DVD. I booted from it, had to press escape, select F9 and then boot from CD and to enter Darwin with no options you can press F5, we're just gonna press enter, let's see what's gonna happen. This could totally fail, this could be that it's not possible and yeah this is just crazy project. I used to do this a lot in the past and I have several laptops that can run Mac and there we go we're booting. But will it continue? Yes, it's continuing. It's continuing. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but we're not there yet. Because we need to do many things and everything can still go wrong. It's amazing that this uh, old DVD is still working. That's why I tell you, always take good care of your DVDs. But we're not there yet. These, uh, yeah, in fact, these software, in fact, OS DVDs, they are be very vulnerable for errors. These Mac, uh, yeah, DVDs, if there is a little error on the thing, then you can forget about the whole installation process. As well, we don't know if the hardware is supported, but this looks promising. We did not get a kernel... Uh, panic yet so it's very interesting so what we're doing now is we're building a mac from an old laptop that was in the series of the three that i bought for 25 euros i don't know if you can remember i collected three laptops for 25 euros i bought them on marketplace.nl yeah boop 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 marketplace Dikke vinger voor jou. Ik bedoel, uh, duim, duim op voor jou. Ik bedoel niet vinger. Duim, een duimpje op voor jullie. Ja, ja. Nou ja, een duim is ook maar, is ook maar een vinger. Hè? Dus, uh, but uh, to go back to the story, peeps. Uh, this uh, boot up will take a while. So I will just pause the video. And if we reach, you know, the setup where we can go ahead and set up the hard disk, etc. I'm gonna get back to you, otherwise, yeah, we just gonna talk along, and this is not a talk show. Come on. Finishing things. Finishing things? What am I telling you, madame and monsieur? Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna use English. Okay, so check out. This is very important, what we're gonna do now. Ça c'est très important, très 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 important, madame et monsieur, because we're gonna wipe Windows 11. 
We're gonna say au revoir. So what we're gonna do here on top, you can see a little menu. We're gonna save, uh, I think, utilities, yes. If I can remember, and then disk utility. Disk utility. So let's see if it finds the hard drives. Oh, that gray. Oh, it looks so stylish, yeah? I know why people love Mac, eh? This is, everything is stylish of this. Yeah, stylish. <laughs> stylish for the eye. It's stealing the eye. Gathering disk information. There we can see a disk. 320 gigabytes. We're just gonna uh, select it. Yeah. And then we're gonna erase it. And we're gonna create a Mac OS. Uh, journal. Mac, no, not extended. Mac OS journal though. name Mac race yes oh <laughs> yeah that <fun. laughs> okay there we have Mac. And there we have another one, Linux Web. We're gonna delete that one, uh, erase. As so, well, Mac OS journal. I think it's only two gigabytes or so. I should have removed it. How much is it? Four gigabytes. It can host the operating system also. This one is. I think I can better create one drive, eh? Then I must repartition the drive. Uh, partition. Yes, just one drive is enough. Current. One partition. Mac. And it must be Mac OS journal apply apply so now we're gonna create one drive <laughs> this is yeah. do you do you hear the sound of the, the fan that means it's it's working hard now you know all right so all right so now you you got this then you can uh, quit the disk utility and now we can continue and you're gonna agree and uh we're gonna select the mac drive of course huh? this one here but we as well gonna customize by double clicking you get into customize and graphics uh, graphics enabler yes bootloader uh, will be Chameleon uh, network drivers yes I think it's all good we will have to see so there we go we're installing this will take about 22 minutes but the time can go up okay so the 22 minutes is just uh, yeah a kind of uh, indication it can go faster or it can go slower yeah 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 faster or slower we don't even know yet if we will reach uh, the end the successful installed sign we don't know if we're gonna see that uh, but we're not gonna look at this progress line uh, yeah for 20 minutes what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna just skip the part of the installing and if we reach that magical end yeah only if then i will get back to you so um yeah see you at the end in holland
Want we are the same. The lads, the loaches, wegen het zwaarst. Oké, okay, wie did it? Installation. Oh. Thank you so much. Nivesh. Nivesh. Acha. Acha he. Acha he, bye. So let's see what's gonna happen now. Let's remove the, the DVD. Where is it? I don't feel it. Boot done. Eh, eh. <laughs> what's gonna happen now? <laughs> it's booting. But will it boot? Do we have. Yes, we have hard drive activity. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're not there yet, peep. Don't be happy yet. Don't be happy yet. Everything can still go wrong. Today Steve Jobs is with me. Steve is with us, peeps. He's right here. Uncle Steve. If you look good into the screen, you will see him. He will pop up. And he will give us a little thumbs up. Well done, boys. Don't you forget about me. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't. Don't you forget about me. Will you recognize me? Call my name. Never left me. Rain keeps falling. Rain keeps falling down, down, down. Oh, where is my country? OS 10 includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. Wow. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. No, it's okay. No, honestly, I really loved that Hindi song that played during the setup, but I don't know who the owners are, so I cannot play that sound for you, peeps. You will hear it if you're going to install this distro yourself uh, and check it out if you have this laptop or maybe another laptop. I'm just going to set up the device and get back to you in the desktop. Miss peeps, look at that. Look at that. This device is a Mac out of the box. Hey, we still wait for the top toolbar to arrive. It's not there yet. Oh, it's there. It's hidden. Oh my goodness. We made a Mac. And we have... I will put some oil for the for the fan. It's making noise. And we have sound. Warning. Do not restart or shut down. Oh, it's fixing things. It's fixing things. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's fixing things. You see that? It's saying don't reboot or do anything now. It's preparing the permissions. Oops. Sorry for that. I think it's done. Sefini? Oh no. <laughs> yes, what is it? Let me see. Uh, channel, no, no problem. Let me see what my friend is saying. Why he say no problem? Oh, I tell him. Oh, that is uh, Mr. Fanmaker. Uh, team Roblox Noobs. L Fanmaker. L Fanmaker. Big up to you, my friend. 
you see he is uh, this guy is uh, he's adding information to uh, to the Motorola install he said I had to pin a message so I pinned the message you know because when these guys come to my site and they want to add info you must give them the chance though because they know these devices I don't know everything and they add inf information and then I give them that 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 credit and thank them for that you see then he feels good next time when he sees something must be said again he will do it again and he will help me out so ladies and gentlemen what can i say um i can say that um the installation is successful for 90 90 percent and why am I saying that? Well, because the Wi-Fi chip is uh, is not working. So uh, I will be able to use this only with the network cable. But God, that is amazing. I mean, like, come on. And if I need a Wi-Fi, then oh, I'll be right back. Okay, peeps, I'm back. Uh, everything seems to work okay. I just rebooted back. Uh, I had visitors and uh, I came back, the screen was black, so probably when the thing goes to sleep, uh, it does not wake up anymore out of its sleep, so I had pressed it off and turned it on again, but as you can hear, it's sounding sounding so loud, this, this fan, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off uh, the Mac and then I'm going to open, I mean the laptop, and then I'm going to open uh the back and see if i can get rid of this noise because this drives me nuts it's, it's annoying it's, it's annoying that's my brother eric by the way so uh let's open this thing okay peeps uh, what i did i opened uh, the machine but of course the fan is here so what i what what i did I didn't want to go and loosen up all these screws. This is to me just an old laptop, you know. Uh, so I I I broke this out. Yeah, I broke this out, and the fan is under there. And I put the vacuum cleaner on here, and I let it suck, 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 suck. And I cleaned here. Uh, I let it suck here. I let it suck here. So everything is sucked. Okay, so let's see if that will help uh, against the noise. Big moment, peeps. Will the sound be? Hey. Oh, it starts again. No? Yeah, yeah, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it still. But not so loud anymore. No, it's not so loud anymore. I say, hey, cut, 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 but that is way better. This is beautiful. Far, far much better. Far much better. Beautiful. With this one you can work. With this I can work. On this way you can work with it. It is not, it is not uh, interrupting. This is beautiful. Because, because where I sit here, and you don't hear it. You don't hear it, huh? I don't hear it, I don't hear it. I'm very amazed. Where I am sitting, I don't hear it. So it helped. To, to 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 remove that that part out of sometimes these sure these helps. these manufacturers they sure make these helps. things in a way that we cannot get to it check automatically for updates please it should get some updates wow amazing this is great news for uh, all the people with this well <laughs> i don't know if it's great news <laughs> to install an outdated operating system onto it even though it's mac uh, yeah 
why would you install this? Why would you? Why would you if we have Linux with the latest security patches that can as well run nicely on this thing? We have Windows 11 that we can install thanks to Rufus in a very easy way uh, on, on these BIOS 64-bit machines. Uh, we don't need no UEFI to install uh, Windows 11. So yeah, in fact, doing this should be for some reason. And my biggest reason is to create ebooks. I don't know if you know, but um, Mac has amazing voices built in. And you can as well download all sorts of voices, you know, Hindi, English. Uh, oh. So you have some, some, some Hindi, Hindi woman uh, uh, reading something in English and it sounds just like, wow, you know, or, or uh, you have Singapore English. Uh, or, or UK English, it all sounds different, eh? all these different voices. And the computers uh, are doing a great job with their AI that we have these days with human voices, but Mac was doing it long time ago. Long time ago, we already had that in Mac. And now it's coming to other devices, and now everybody can have human face uh, AI. Uh, yeah, on the device, you cannot connect to the App Store. Then connect, try again, no? Or maybe, maybe Apple changed policy and now as well, don't, can't we? Software updates, yeah, yeah. Cannot connect to App Store, why not? Oh, because the internet cable is not bloody connected. It's in. Uh, I see totally no activity on my modem. So why is that? Don't we have internet? You are not connected to the internet. Oh boy, that's a bummer. I was. Yeah, you have no telephone. What for our telephone? For what? Oh, device. Tuurlijk. Ik kan u weer om misschien helpen met dat ding. Met welk ding? Ik heb een SIM-kaart nodig. Moet hebben dan een telefoontje gaan verzinnen om de SIM-kaart in te zetten. Look at that. Playing my Western, my daily Western, straight from YouTube. <laughs> Advertisements play, everything works. <laughs> Crazy. Lovely project. Project successful. So yeah, this laptop, this old laptop can in fact be an old Mac as well. If you uh yeah, if you get the right uh installer and in this case it was an installer by Niresh and yeah in fact, his projects are yeah, not there anymore. He's not doing anything with at least uh, these kinds of distros anymore. I think, yeah, they all passed on. In fact, Hackintosh is uh, a dying project, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, to me, it's very nostalgic. Uh, I still have some, um, some DVDs with official uh, Apple DVDs. Uh, I live or so and then I can in even install some uh, music creation application from the past onto it you know and test and see in fact I did this for testing because afterwards I listened to the voices and yeah maybe I was um, in the past very amazed about these voices but what we have now these days especially with the app that I as well showed you in Android um, yeah these voices are, are even better, you know, so although I must say that even even now in 2022, I'm still amazed about the voices in this in this Mac OS, as you could hear uh, at the beginning, this the screen reader uh, started to talk and it sounded like a real human, you know, and that for I mean, like this OS comes out of the time from Steve Jobs. 
So yeah, in fact, is this as well a little uh, credits to Uncle Steve in heaven, you know, so not to forget about him. I could, you know, show you a hacking Tosh build, uh, higher build 10.10 .10 or maybe 11, but no. I wanted to play with old school uh, operating system. I even installed Firefox. Let me show you what I can do with it before we're gonna end this video. Okay, peeps. So this is the next day, okay? This is the next day. Uh, yesterday we installed uh, this OS uh, to the machine. And today, in fact, I finished the video. But uh, we are here at, for instance, uh, the site called uh, Library of uh, Congress. And I downloaded some some some. 1900 films in fact a bunch here you can see them all sorts and these films they must be colorized from the library of congress in washington dc look at how the thing plays this old film from 1912 they will all be colorized. You see that? That's a tree, moving tree. Oh, that's a soldier. I see somebody there. Or oh, what is it, a comedy? No, it looks like a soldier. These are silent movies. Oh, <laughs> they're the police. <laughs> Look at these caps, yo. <laughs> Motion is good. The sound is uh, still there a bit, eh? but it's not so hard anymore like yesterday. And I can stick my finger in the hole and then I t -t -t it a bit and then suddenly it's, it's totally gone. So yeah, this is a device with uh, with some uh, gebruiksaanwijzing, to say it this way, in Dutch. But it works, man, look. So, uh, about the internet. Well, YouTube as well works. You can watch YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com works. Uh, but the server is not found because uh, the internet cable is not connected. It loosened up when I moved it around. So I'm pushing in the cable. And it even plays the advertisements on YouTube. If for the first time you come to the uh, page, it will show you uh, that you must get a new browser. But then just say, uh, I'm going to do that later. Here you're going to get a warning, unresponsive script. Just say stop script and then wait a little bit. Okay. Don't worry. Just wait. You must have patience. Just wait. You can as well um, start with looking for whatever you want to see. I want to see Western films. And then it's gonna get them for me. Yeah, and then here you're gonna find films. If you click one, it should play the advertisement fine. You see that? You can skip the ad. I will turn off the sound. 
But as you can see, it plays. Maybe not in the highest quality. But hey, come on, man. <laughs> don't let me start, okay? <laughs> don't let me start. It's playing a 720p. It's not good. It can even play in 1080p. Let me see. <laughs> Look at that playing in 1080p. Peeps. Hey. <laughs> this is amazing. This is really amazing. It's using the Fudu Sound uh, drivers by, by default. And as you can hear, you must give it the right tick. Sometimes a little bit harder than normal. The tick that you give it will So put your finger in the hole. <laughs> okay, so that didn't become much better. The sound, to be honest, okay. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, yeah. And then it goes away suddenly. And if you turn on the sound, then uh, <laughs> in fact you don't hear it. So the sound is uh, definitely uh, louder than, than, than the fan. Uh, I think it's a little bit out of balance. Uh, I can try to spray some dust remover into it. Maybe there is some, I don't know. You know, it's all good. It's an old laptop and this was just a test. And I say, you know, we passed, we passed with, you know, with a dicker, with a dicker negen. Four out of five stars, you know, for this project. Only the Wi-Fi was not really, you know, found and yeah, for the rest. I mean, like, it can still entertain a human being. I mean, like, if you have nothing else, uh, <laughs> you have no Windows CD and you have no Linux and you only have this old hacking touch CD uh, and this device or a device that will, you know, accept this, this, uh, yeah, this distro. Yeah, then the effect, you're good. It's as well nice to make uh, uh, bookmarks. Uh, here I have a radio bookmark uh, and I can play music out of the box. Only the sound of the fan uh, must shut up. Terug. A little bit. A29, Dint hoort richting Rotterdam en nu mag door bij 96.4 en de A31. You see, it plays good. Not all the stations play. Uh, NPO, of course, is not playing or National Public uh, is not working. It's the only one not working because of uh, DRM. And uh, I don't know how it is with the DRM in this old uh, Safari browser. I think there, were, there was no DRM. At that time in this browser, so you know, at that time we didn't have to deal with this nonsense. There was no DRM at that time. So in fact, if we look at at, at the, the ones that are playing, yeah, such as Slam and such as Aero, these are these are good broadcasting. In fact, all the others that don't play. Yes, we should remake the site, remove all these others and only put the good ones. These are the legends. You see, they always play. They play since then and they still play. These are legends. Not people that update their site all the time and then suddenly whatever you were doing there is not working anymore. Just like our national public uh, uh, broadcast. That is, My name is Saskia, Boerin in the Achterhoek. That is making misbruik from their, you know, the taking advantage of something that they should not. My name is Saskia, Boerin in the Achterhoek. It should, it should work on every device. Yeah, I cannot watch politics, I cannot watch news on this device because yeah, it's just not working. <sighs> because the way the stream is being delivered. But I will find ways. I will even try to install IPTV on this thing. And then, yeah, we can watch American stations. US TV is not working, unfortunately. This browser is too old. It's not working. You... STV 
go.tv The web view is too old. I don't know how to update web view from, from Mac. If I could update the web view, I don't have to update the browser. Then everything will work. But you see, this is uh, not working. The site. As well because of ridiculous changes since then. In fact, since Steve Jobs left, many things changed in computer world. Not because he left, but I mean since that time. You know, this, this is from his time when he was still alive. This, this was his operating system. You know, with the classic look and feels. This uh, square, um, how you say that? Um, uh, dock I made because I did a little trick. So I re I changed the 3D into the yeah kind of old old even old schooler uh, yeah dock. So this dock you all know. This was as well in 10 10 point four. And I think it's even back in Josimit and, and all these modern uh, builds. But as you can see, the, the icons are all classic. These are all classic icons. Uh, updates uh, are not really coming in because this is not the official distro from, uh, from Apple. So if you're going to go and look for updates, it will show you update. But if you want to update, it will give an error during the update. It will start the update, but then somewhere here it's going to give an error. So, yeah, this is not a system that you can... Uh, yeah, this is an old system, guys, really, honestly. Uh, for what? Maybe to watch... Uh, I don't know. To play? I, I don't know. Um, just because it's nostalgic. It's, it's just beautiful that it still works. And qua security, yeah, you can put on your firewall. You have a firewall in here that you can turn on you see here and you can as well uh, run apps that uh, are not made by the app store so that is as well cool because it made me install um, where is it audacity this is old version from audacity still works makes perfect recordings really honestly the camera works, even though I covered it up uh, here. You can see that I covered it up, but it works in photo boot as well. Video works, only the sound is a bit weird. weird. Uh, it's a little bit loud. So you should go ahead and uh, connect uh, an external microphone. You can easily choose for an external microphone in, uh, in your sound settings that you will find here. And here you can see, uh, this is the microphone, the internal. Hello, 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 testing, one, two, it should work. Input. Hello, hello. It worked yesterday, I swear. I made videos. It was, but I don't want it to work. I want it to be silent. So here, boom. This is our output. So that all works man uh for me this is a perfect uh, device to play to play with and to to challenge me to do things you know to yeah to do things with it because there are sites online that will still let this browser uh, pass they have no problem with this browser you see that such as this side here. I'm Larissa Kitchener. Chief this is how it should be. African and Middle Eastern Division. One of the many things we do is provide research and... This is how it should be, the internet. And on these sides you see it. On this side this browser is, is, is working fine. But if you go to other browsers, you must give permission before you can, because uh, I don't know what the crap the browser is all doing. Ridiculous. The only downside, this site is not working. That is hurting. 
This is hurting me the most. I would, if this side would work, I would feel really, really happy about this installation. But it has to do with the browser. But still, um, yeah, a great system with a great iTunes built in uh, that I use for the hundreds of radio stations that will play me any music I want to listen to. Thousands of stations. This is, this is the part of iTunes that I really love. But, but they are hiding it in the new builds. I don't have to update this iTunes. I still have iPhones that I can connect, connect to this iOS uh, build or this OS build. It will, they will correspond just fine. It will not tell me, you must update. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this all, yeah, I think is amazing to still have and to still, yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's not. I will leave it up to you. I, I really enjoyed making this, uh, this video. It's a long video, I know. But hey, um, yeah, for those that uh, on these uh, winter days that will come as well have an old laptop and want to... Uh, play with the old uh, operating system that still works uh, even in 2022. This is a nice project. Well, from the studio here, I'm gonna say goodbye to you and I'm gonna leave you with your thoughts.